Right. How about I'll start off right here. You guys get ready. You guys get no, I'm serious. I'm fucking ready. You guys ready? Yeah, Alright, here we go. Here we go. Mastodon! Yeah, none of you fuckers want to do that. Okay. I don't remember any of that. Oh, I was gonna pick one. All right. Anyways. All right. Anyways. All right. Welcome to Axial Skeleton. We are here to talk about the uh, the Power Ranger movie that just came out earlier today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Phil Acevedo. I'm welcomed today by a great uh, team of uh, Power Ranger nerds, lovers, and haters. Um, as you guys already know, later today, there uh, earlier today, I should say, there was a video that just got posted by. Adi Shankar, I had to look it up on my phone because I keep on forgetting his name. Uh, if you guys don't know him, he has produced The Grey, Dread, which is a great fucking movie. Films like Punisher, Dirty Laundry, if you have not seen that, check it out. It's got Thomas Jane, it's fucking excellent, watch it. And just today, he just released his newest one called Power Slash Rangers. So, uh, we loved it, I, well I loved it, I, I thought it was really cool. Uh, personally, I, I give him a lot of respect because he it was his own vision, it was good. It was probably the most fucked up version of the Power Rangers we'll ever see. There was cocaine, there was blood, there was machine guns, there was uh, meth, there was meth. What'd you think of it, man? Look at him. He brought his fucking Red Ranger shirt, man. <laughs> fucking right, I did. So what'd you think of it, man? I thought it was a good, you know, good little clip, good little movie. Um, it, you know, it could have been longer, but that's just me. Um, you know, the one thing that I really liked about it is how I remember when I first met you. One thing we always discuss about is you making a dark version of a Power Rangers movie. And this fucking and, took it from and me. And this, it, well, not only did it take it from you, but it, it to me, it, it just proved that it could be done. He just proved that it could be done. He didn't take it from me. He beat me to the punch, all right? Because this guy's got a... He's a fucking millionaire, and... Yeah. <laughs> what else did you like about it, man? Um, I just... I just loved how it just proved, you know, your theory is right, that it, it can be done dark, and, you know, it was still really good. Um, it, you know, the action scenes were cool. Um, the storyline was cool. It just... Yeah, it just it blew me away. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's cool, man. Yeah. All right, so all right, thank you for joining us. Thanks. All right, now um, let's bring out AD. You guys know him. You guys love him. How are you, pal? I I'm just doing, doing good. I just showed you the video like not even an hour ago. Uh, what'd you think of it, man? I, I thought it was all right. Like I was a fan of the Power Rangers as a kid. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Get that straight. Everything after that, I uh, grew up. You know, I uh, hit middle school. And, uh, but, uh, I thought it was whatever. Like, uh, I followed the story, but I just, I don't know. Like, those 14 minutes, I just... It, was, it looked great. It looked stunning. But, uh... No, not for not, you? Not really about it. Too, uh, what was it? Like, too, too Michael Bay-ish? Too, uh... Kind of, kind of, it felt... It was too dark? It or? was... Are you, are you I just like, couldn't follow everything that was going on. It just, I don't know. It didn't catch my interest all that much. Whatever, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Luis, come on down, brother. Welcome down, welcome over, Luis Prado. All right, so what did you think of the Power Slash Rangers movie? Okay, so let me start off by saying that I didn't grow up, so I kept watching all the way until Saban <clears throat> sold the rights to Disney um, right after Time Force. So I saw maybe like five or six generations of, of Power Rangers. So when I say I'm a Power Ranger fan, I'm a Power Ranger fan. Like I, I lived and breathed it. Um, and I'm not a, you know, embarrassed to say that shit. I liked it. Uh, it. It's definitely the the way to do it, the way to go with it. Um, they're obviously going to have some competition because if the PG-13 one that Lionsgate is producing right now doesn't yes. live up to this, I mean, it's it's a great way to just shit on something. That's like if if a student film or a or a uh, independent film came out with a all female cast of Ghostbusters and said, fuck you guys, we're doing it first. <laughs> and let's not forget that there is an actual live action Power Rangers movie being produced by Lionsgate in the works as we speak. And I don't know, man, this 14 minute video, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, it was dark, it was messed up, but this is something I really wanted to see. I mean, they're like, hey man, you know what? The kitty stuff, that was cool, but we want to do something that we want to see. We had no studio behind us. This is some money straight out of our own pockets. I thought it was cool. I totally respect that. Yeah, I mean, like, it was very, very gritty, like 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 a whole way past Christopher Nolan and everything, all that crap. This is something like if like if Christopher Nolan and Michael Bay got together and some shit, you know. They they, they definitely took it to that level. I, for example, with when when the original Nin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book came out, all of them wore the exact same colors. Yeah. They were dark, and then in the 80s, because everybody was fucking obsessed with Dayglow, 
they gave them all individual colors. Oh, 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 and, on it. oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, this is this is live. This is uh, breaking news. Jason David. Oh, man, guys, look, I know there's a lot of fans out there that love it and all that stuff, but I'm just a PG-13 guy. Like the cuss words, the drugs, the all this other stuff. Um, it doesn't fly with me. And the only reason, let me explain before y'all just start jumping the gun here. Uh, everybody loves Power Rangers. I We're jumping the gun. The Force and the Power Rangers Dino Charge is still on Nickelodeon, so you can't take a brand like this and reboot it so dark and gritty. We're all grown up now, but at the same time, we have to be responsible and know that this still is a kid's brand. What happened to you, Green Ranger? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> Okay, now the Green Ranger is somebody who never grew up. Jason David Frank is like like imagine if 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 Ron Howard just continued to be Opie <laughs> until he was 45. Okay, or if he took or 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 if Henry Winkler was still weather wearing leather jackets going A and hitting fucking jukeboxes. Fucking yeah, minutes. it's not Morphin Time anymore. It is right. not Morphin Time. From all of us here in the garage, in the studio, thanks for watching this video. Until then, it's Morphin Time. Time. And don't forget to stay focused, stay sharp. <laughs> <laughs> it's Axelon. Axelon, bitches. Oh.